I don't know about you guys, but ever since season 27 and the buff to the Crusader class, being able to auto cast our fist of the heavens, our Thor build is back, baby. The build is back, and it is all thanks to one change with the Vigilante belt. While Steve's charge is active, Fist of the Heavens deals increased damage equal to our move speed and is automatically called down on random nearby enemies, and it is based on our attack speed. It is back, and it's absolutely fantastic. I've been waiting so long for this to be back, so we're going to reset this. We're putting all our points in movement speed. We don't need strength, baby. We don't need it. And then on our offense, we're doing the same thing. We want the crit chance. Oh, we want crit chance here. Right, we want crit chance, but we want all attack speed. Okay, we don't even need the crit damage. We don't need it. So, I'm not going to break down everything in this build, guys, but I just wanted to showcase the change. And I'm going to show off the build because this is by far my second favorite build in all of Diablo 3. Next to the Demon Hunter God DH build or and or multi-shot. But I can tell you right now that this build is so insane it's so easy to play we're so fast and so strong so i'm just going to go in and showcase this we're just going to do a gr75 um just as a baseline here this build is very very fast very simple to play let's go ahead and proc some defenses here and let's get to steed charging look at this we don't even gotta do nothing this is all we gotta do this is it we don't have to do anything else we just steed charge ultimate move speed we just, it's its back. Guys, it's back. It's okay now. Everything is safe. Everything is good. Okay, we get to destroy everything now. Super easy. Look how fast we are. Okay, look how fast we are. We can make this build even faster, okay? We can make it even faster if we need to. We don't even need channeling. I don't even want it. I don't need it. This build is insane, dude. I'm playing Crusader in Season 29, and we're absolutely slapping the competition. You don't need anything else. You don't got to cast anything else. It's just super good. Super, super good. This build is back. You don't have to manually cast it all. All we're doing is literally just Steed Charging. That is it. We're super bulky, super tanky. And we just auto-cast everything. It is so good. I'm so happy this is back. Don't die from the explosions, Willow. Make it through there. You're a G. I mean, guys, we all know that Witch Doctor as well as Crusader have been getting the, the short end of the stick, guys, for seasons upon seasons. And we got this glimp glimpse of uh, success a couple seasons ago. Don't even need it. So we're just crushing, guys. I don't even care how long. It takes us to finish this. I just want to showcase the build. Okay. Now, I will say one thing that really sucks is the huge change to the movement speed system. That really sucks. So, it does hurt this build a little bit. But, with that said, we can still make this very, very fast, as you guys can see. We were just galloping along. It's... <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. It's so good. And then elites. Yeah, don't even need to. You're just dead, buddy. Sorry. It's been fun. It's been fun. So, guys, the build the build is insane. We don't need to do anything else. The build is absolutely fantastic. Thor is back, and it got the huge change here with the Vigilante belt. I just wanted to showcase it really briefly, guys, in the PTR for Season 29. I am very, very happy about this. This is by far the only build that I'm going to be playing um, in Season 29 for the most part just to get through the... Um, seasonal journey but this build is super super fun super super tanky uh super fast if we go look at the crusader here uh, we can go grab crusader and go agus of lr 138 no problem whatsoever look at the hero details um yeah you can use traveler's pledge you can mix this up obviously guardian set is very very good throw the vigilante belt on for even more damage um there's so many ways to increase the move speed you have unlimited options here at the um bracers for even more move speed you could even change out and this was me using uh focus and restraint without ever manually casting justice so we actually lost 50 percent damage here um however i think the traveling uh traveler's pledge is probably a little bit better um just for consistency of how much we're going to be in steed charge and every time that we manually cast hammer pursuit we would come out so i'm not really too concerned about that i'd rather use traveler's Pe pledge um, but we do lose squirts there, but there's so many different ways to build this, guys. The Thor build is back. Steed Charge is back in full force. And um, 
Yeah, guys, like the video, comment down below. What do you guys think about uh, the Thor build being back? You only really have to press one button. I honestly don't even need these threes. I could take these three off the action bar or all four, actually. We just don't even need them. We could just do this. I have to have Fist of Heavens on there for the auto cast, but we could just steed charge, not do anything else. Easy peasy. That's it, guys. So let me know what you think. Comment down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.